Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am here with a quick PSVR news video. This one's going to cover about four topics, I'm not going to go into it too in depth. These are kind of things that have been known for a few days, I'm just kind of trying to catch up as usual. But some of the stuff I thought was interesting enough that, you know, I wanted to talk about, including The Exorcist VR Legion which is one of my favorite horror games on PSVR, that's getting a sequel. So this is coming from Upload VR from Jamie Feltham. So what's interesting here, and I've highlighted the interesting stuff, is that it's coming to PSVR 2 and it's going to have co-op support, which immediately raises the flags in my head. Is this going to be Phasmophobia for PlayStation? I'm sure Phasmophobia will actually come to PSVR or PSVR 2, whatever, at some point, but if this is launched in late 2022, which is they're saying it will, it could be that this comes out first. Of course, we haven't seen anything about it. I'm just going to read the article because we haven't seen anything, you know, about us. It might not be anything like Phasmophobia. That's just where my head is going immediately. So the game is called The Exorcist Legion VR Sin, which is a clever, you know, abbreviation. Sin, so safety in numbers. That's like the subtitle. Launching in late 2022, it's going to have full support for online co-op but it can also be played single player too, and I think the same is true of Phasmophobia. You can play that co-op online with friends, or you can play it by yourself, which sounds like it'll be extra terrifying to me, but the option is there if that's what you want. There is a teaser trailer, but I'm not going to go into it because it's just kind of text on the screen, kind of teasing it, they don't show anything at all. What's interesting to point out is that the original developer, Wolf and Wood, isn't returning. So the original game was kind of maybe more narrative focused, Whereas a game like Phasmophobia wouldn't really be narrative focused. It's all about, you know, these, uh, you're kind of creating the story yourself with the experience you're having, that kind of a way. You know, you just have to hunt a ghost. Everything else in between is up to the players. So instead of Wolf and Wood, it's going to be developed by Pocket Money Games, the studio behind Dimension Hunter that's also working on the recently announced The Twilight Zone VR. You know, if it's not on PSVR, I'm not really interested. Then we scroll down a little bit more to see, as for platforms, over on Twitter, the game's official account confirmed that Next Gen VR is one of the supported platforms, and that's the code name for the next PSVR, whatever it's gonna be called. And that's gonna be late 2022, so we're kind of all expecting PSVR 2 to launch late 2022. So that kind of lines up with that. It could be a launch game, it could be like pretty excellent to have a Phasmophobia style game, which again, that's me jumping the gun, might not be anything like Phasmophobia. It could be just like the first one again. It could be episodic. It could be very like story focused, traditional jump scares. But if they are going that route, it's going to be interesting because, you know, a game like that, I'm not sure it's going to be helped in terms of the horror department by having a co-op partner. Whereas with Phasmophobia, that game is kind of designed around it. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards a Phasmophobia style. Plus, Phasmophobia is like really successful on Steam. And it's kind of actually surprising that nobody has copied, like none of the bigger developers have tried to copy Phasmophobia, like make it into a AAA thing with like proper money behind it. Maybe this is going to be that first attempt we see of like, you know, what Fortnite did to PUBG. So not really anything else we can say about that until we see more about us. Hopefully we'll get a trailer in the not too distant future. Let me know what you think. Do you think this could be a Phasmophobia type game? Or do you think it's just going to be more of a traditional walking through a house with spooks? Except, you know, you got a friend with you. Kind of, I don't know, pulling levers at the same time or some shit like that. Moving on to topic number two, Upload VR are once again having a showcase at the end of the year. This one is the 2nd of December, and it's kind of our only dedicated virtual reality conference type show, even though it's just like a bunch of trailers stitched together. But you know, it's the best that we have that's dedicated to virtual reality right now. Again, this is old news, but I just wanted to bring it up quickly because it's coming, it's right around the corner and we don't know what we're going to see exactly. Now, they did say we'll have a lot more to share this time around, including some of the titles we spotlighted last summer and, of course, a few surprises for you, too. So, if you watched the last summer showcase that they did in June, they're going to have, like, updates on whatever the games were that they showed. I know there's a Nerf game and some other stuff like that, so not hugely exciting for me in terms of what they already shown because a lot of that stuff is already released. Uh, so, what I'm more interested in is you know, the surprises, the potential surprises. And of course, they might not say it, but 
a lot of what they show could end up on the next generation virtual reality PlayStation headset. So, just a quick reminder that that's happening. Set your clocks, set your alarms, whatever. Did I say what time it is? Okay, so they don't give a time. Be closer to the actual day. So keep your eyes peeled like a potato. All right. So next up, I want to talk about a little bit about after the fall. I'm now I'm using this upload viewer article that talks about like an early access launch edition, but I'm not really interested in that. I am interested in how like PVP is something that they've seemingly tossed in there at the last minute. So that's interesting. Plus, just on the topic of after the fall, which is coming on the 9th of December, I just wanted to point out that we haven't seen any gameplay and none of the previewers have previewed any of the gameplay from the PS viewer version and I believe not the Quest version either. So it's just been the PC viewer version, which obviously is going to be running at the best. It's going to be the best hardware there. So I'm just being a little bit skeptical about it, a little bit because I do believe that, you know, this is Vertigo Games, they did Arizona Sunshine very good game but this seems a little bit more ambitious it has four player co-op it has it supposedly has seamless crossplay and all this kind of stuff that's going to be there from day one so it's a little bit more being asked of the game so i'm just kind of you know putting a little bit of it's not a red flag that's the, not the right word because they don't deserve that but i'm going to go in with a, a healthy dose of skepticism until i see more you know, but yeah, it is interesting that they're going to be adding a PvP mode that's going to see players, as it says here, go head-to-head -head in arena-style matches. So yeah, just a quick note about After the Fall. And then finally, let's talk about the Jeff Keighley Awards really quick, because this is the best VR slash AOR category this year. Now keep in mind, the last few years that they had these VR categories there, it's just been like a blip in the fucking corner of the screen, while Jeff Keighley like, is like, oh, the winner is beats ever again for three years in a row so i'm not expecting anyone to go up on the stage or whatever which even, which is like something they deserve i hope that vr will get that level of respect someday soon i just don't expect it to happen this year but just worth mentioning you know here's the categories or here's the nominees i should say hitman 3 which is a psvr exclusive as i'm sure a lot of you know i expect you to die 2 lone echo 2 resident evil 4 virtual reality and sniper elite vr now i know there's a bit of grumbling going on that some games that should have been there weren't there something like song in the smoke perhaps but yeah just wanted to throw this in there in case you weren't aware of us and you would like to go onto the website thegameawards.com and maybe cast your vote for any of these games that you enjoyed yourself or you could just let me know in the comments if you think now look game awards don't mean anything really but it's a nice it's nice for the developers to get something like this there's a bit of prestige behind this particular award show so let me know who you're going to vote for do you think there should be a game here that isn't here or do you think one of these games has no business being here at all let me know in the comments below and with that i will end this quick psvr news update video before i do let me thank my patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak daniel the pumpkin patch kid crumb pete hawkins and tradition Thank you very much for the top tier Patreon supporters. That generosity is very much appreciated. If you'd like to help out on the Patreon, the link to that will be in the description as well. But if not, likes, comments, subscribe, shares, all that usual YouTube and shite. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can find him at Decepticon.com, link in the description. Also, with that, I will end this video. Please, for the love of God, stay nice and moist in these dry, dry times. Petrifying. Pumpkin.